Guys, a few weeks ago, we celebrated the goosebump-inducing, history-defining action you can only find at a CSGO Major with our top 10 major kills of all time. Now look, just because it's a Major doesn't mean it's all ace clutches and dirty flicks. We've seen our fair share of fails at that competition as well and figured, hell, why not rank them? Zipex has taken his angle. He may have a shadow advantage and he may start with aggression. He's playing it down. He's got two man spray down, but it's only one. Seed is going to trade. Edward goes down with the auto sniper. If it was the other way around that, he probably wins, but no. 16 to 14, Narvi take it to dust two. These are the plays that, well, didn't quite go according to plan. So sit back and try not to cringe too much as we give you the top 10 CSGO major fails of all time. Kicking off our list is Navi Zeus from DreamHack Open Cluj Napoca 2015. With CLG on map point, the Ukrainian IGL found himself in a 1v1 clutch situation with the bomb yet to be planted. And for reasons we frankly still don't understand, Zeus decided to run through a molly. And, well, there's not much more to say about this one. Zeus is awaiting that plant attempt. It's got to be soon. It must be soon. There's only there's less than 10 seconds at this point. Zeus is burning. He's burning. No! What is going on? Colors actually going to burn Zeus alive. What? He didn't realize not to. What on earth uh, just happened? He, he tried to be too cheeky. He tried to just walk through that Molotov. He, he was just in the leap of faith, trying to go through the Molotov. I to almost couldn't believe it. I was, I, JDM. That's what happened. And wow, I mean, uh, that is slightly dramatic, you could say. I was looking at it, but I wasn't believing it because that can't happen. But it did not do. <laughs> Coming in at number 9 is a play that proves that not all misplays are equal, courtesy of Pasha Biceps. We've all experienced that gut-wrenching feeling of getting CS goad, which is why this relatable blunder from the 2016 ESL1 Cologne semifinals had to make our list. Bomb pile in an awkward position, and Coldzera has picked up the kit as well. Crucial that he's picked up the kit, gonna buy himself way more time, but Pasha playing so far off right now on Mini, he'll just play the sound trigger, wait for the defuse to try and come in. Cold. He's already pushed out to try and find him, but Mini didn't see him because of how far back he was. He thinks it's Heaven. He's staring at Heaven. He's tapped in and waited. Pasha's still not going to peek on this. He's going to have to hold this. It has to stick the defuse down to two seconds. Pasha needs to hit the shot. Cold. No! He's used the movement mechanics to his advantage. He's stolen the round. SK are going to get the pistol again. Pasha had the opportunity to take him down. Then he wasn't looking at him. Tried to play the percentages and thought, okay, I'll just run the bomb down, then I'll face. He has no idea I'm here. The full defuse comes in. It's that kit we talked about. He picks it up. Five second defuse and crouching. Just trying to make the aim awkward for Pasha there. And he can't land the shot. We've all had this happen to us in our matchmaking games, but to see it at a major is especially heartbreaking, which is why this mistake comes in at number eight. Hellraisers were in the middle of an epic comeback against Team Liquid at the 2018 Face at London Major, and were on the verge of breaking the CT's economy. But while Woxic was opping mid, Bondic tanked a bullet to the dome, quite literally killing any chances at a comeback. Keep in mind, ladies and gents, at one point, this was 12-1 to Liquid. Oh, Voxix just What's happened there? Bondic, though, how's that happened? And it's gone from bad to worse, as this is the only player to answer back, but he's been destroyed. Oh no. What a time to get that happening though. It's not like this. Just when it seemed like they're getting back into the game, the team kill from Voxic. Coming in at number 7 is a classic Navi misstep from the 2018 Face at London Major Grand Final. After taking a first half beating, Navi were looking to stabilize, and this was the round to do it. That is, until a clutch smoke grenade from Astralis left Navi doubting themselves, leaving no time to plant the bomb. Oh, look at that counter smoke from Glaive. That is going to ruin the timing of Navi. It's going to be Chaos moving into this lower site. There is less than 20 oh seconds going into the plant on the lower bomb site. Electronic gets a quick double, but Zipex is positioned to try to stop the plant. That's all he has to do. Stop the plant. Edward takes him down. Eight seconds to plant the bomb. Can they stop it? Five seconds. Is that bomb going to go down in time? Oh, I don't know if there's time here to plant the bomb. Oh, no! Oh my god, I could barely watch. I could barely watch. That smoke. That is terrifying. That's, yeah, that smoke, Hi. exactly. Hi. That's the smoke. smoke ever. What now? That is the what now smoke. And the answer is, I don't know what now. Coming in at number six is a misplay courtesy of Flusha from the 2019 IEM Katowice Major. With the 2v1 in their favor and the remaining enemy out of position, Cloud9 had all the ingredients needed to spark a comeback. 
all Flusha had to do was defuse the bomb, but he failed twice. Now in CT spawn, he's going to move in, but now he's got to turn back, and there's no way for him to stop this defuse. Uh, this, uh, this round has turned around about six different times, and unfortunately for FaZe, they're going to come out on the losing end. Flusha on the bomb, and the defuser is out of vision. Good kill for Adren. Why, what? Why it did stopped. he stop? Oh no! Adren has a chance! Flusha normally so clutch! And now Adren can get into the site. He's sticking it one more time. Adren, certainly not. He gets off it once more, and Adren capitalizes on the mistakes. You will not see that happen to Flusha too often. He is normally rock solid in his decision making. Uh, he's normally ice cold, and he'll he'll ride or die. But he second guessed himself. I can only assume he thought Adren was way closer than he actually was. Maybe it was a poor call. Look how close he is when he gets off. Yeah, I mean, he's literally just about to defuse it and he comes off the... I, I, I'm speechless. The real heartbreaker is that C9 did end up coming back, but ultimately lost in the 30th round. Will he just take the defuse? Oh, no. He is. He's going for the defuse. No, he comes off it. He may have been able to have it. Misses the no-scope and Cloud9, the heartbreak of coming back so many rounds, but stumbling at the last moment. At the halfway point on our list is this comical mishap from SK Gaming during the 2017 E-League Atlanta Major Quarterfinals. Down on rounds against FaZe Clan, the Brazilians just couldn't catch a break as they got completely outplayed by the T side. Guys, this is something you expect to see in silver level matchmaking, not a major. Oh no, they think it's the A bomb site! No! Unreal. This Unreal. is a disaster for SK! They're spending all their time, all their grenades! They're not realizing it! Now, finally, it's gonna dawn on them. We have been duped. Get played, suckers! That's what Kerrigan's thinking. Unreal! Oh, the shame! You, like, they just won the round by completely mind-gaming you, SK. Like, sit, sit with that and let that soak in for a minute. You didn't even see them and they wrecked you. Taking the number four spot is Mouse Sports Sunny at the 2018 E-League Boston Major. On map point against FaZe Clan in the quarterfinals, Mouse found themselves with a two-man advantage on Nuke and were ready to take it home. But the Finn met an untimely death, which FaZe were all too happy to capitalize on. Things like this just shouldn't happen at a major. Oh, the he's committed to a Sunny! What? He jumped off and cratered! Of all times to do this! No! Not what you want to do with Guardian and Olaf left, and Guardian's gonna take down Chris to 19. Olaf slips in. Oscar's found! This could turn! Unbelievable. He has to watch on and let this round slip by the wayside. What happened there to Sunny? It must have been transitioning towards the vent. Jumps off. He jumps. Oh, he, he hit the roof. He missed. He no, did. that's he missed such high. a blunder. What's he done that for? You don't need to jump. You can just walk off and get towards the heart. He think, I think he assumed it was done. What was he doing? Yeah, that, that makes sense. pretty accurate. I'd clip that. We've showed you this one before in our top 10 misplays in CSGO, which is why it comes in at number three on this list. Astralis were thanking their lucky stars at the 2016 MLG Columbus Major Semi-Finals as Na'Vi left themselves no time to plant the bomb despite looking dominant. Cajun B, you just had one job. Both poised and ready to take on seeds. The first frag coming in. It's going to be Dupree to take him down. 2 on 1. Now Edward finds Dupree. Five seconds. All he has to do is stay alive. Shouldn't be time to plant here. He There's can't not. do it. He went for the op instead. He won't no! what? what? Why is Cajun facing that? What in God's name is he doing? He was hiding in the pit. He had no idea what was going on. You can see the look on his face. He's realized what he's done. All he had to do is stay alive, and he didn't know. Just stay in pit. Even if you give up the plant, you still have a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a chance that you can still make happen, but you're right. He goes out, goes for the face guard. Edward was nowhere near it. The bomb was there late. Our runner-up spot goes to this lethal misplay from the 2017 PGL Krakow Major Semi-Final, courtesy of Astralis's Glaive. After pulling off an excellent flank, the Danes found themselves in a favorable 2v1 post-plant situation against Gambit Esports. That is, until a trigger-happy Glaive gave Gambit the opening they needed to get back in the round. Glaive with a massive flank. He will hear the scope. Zipex just has to hide. Glaive 
They have no idea where is the second player looking to play, uh, make a championship play here. Hobbit, they don't know where he is yet. Oh, he's killed his teammate! That this time is for real, but it's no kid for Hobbit. He's got to play Glaive to the point of no return, and he does it. A ninth round on the board. Where's the communication? They're talking by pigeon mail, and they did not get there fast enough. Is Hashtag not like this. Is that the round? Is that the round? Time will tell. Not like this. Oh dear. That's, a, that's such a big problem, isn't it? Astralis now in a position where they are on five rounds. There is still the opportunity to get round number six, and you can see the frustration there. Taking the number one spot is this brutal blunder from Snacks at the 2017 E-League Atlanta Major Grand Final. Snacks was about to single-handedly bring the plow to tournament point against a broken CT side economy. But let this play be a reminder that greed isn't always good. The flag is in, Kirby gets the kill, it's all on Snacks. He's got the triple, he needs the ace to close this one out. He's ready with the AK, he goes for the spray, takes down the vice and now turning around. Snacks, he's almost got it, the spray is in, pulls out the tech nine and Kirby has to wait on the other side. This could very well be it, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke is on, the bomb is ticking right in front and there's a shot coming through. Kirby with a clutch, he saves Astralis. 14-14. And with such a tight scoreline, this was the round that VP just couldn't afford to lose. Well guys, that's our video. And you know what? One man's fail is another man's highlight. I've been thinking about this recently. It's like that Stewie 2K clip we always show where he holds down the B site on Inferno in the grand finals of the Boston Major. He forces overtime against FaZe Clan, makes some good shots, but honestly, FaZe Clan entered the bomb site with like seven seconds left to go. So for me, it's actually a FaZe fail and not so much a C9 highlight, but it's open to interpretation. Just a little rant that's some food for thought. So go ahead and like the video, sub to the channel, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite highlight that is actually a fail is. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.